If you would like the chance to win a Force FX lightsaber, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and tell me in the comments below what your all-time favorite lightsaber is. Everyone knows of the classic lightsaber colors from red to blue, and my personal favorite, green. Fewer are aware of the more rare and obscure colors such as purple or yellow, and in the past on the channel we have explored the different types of obscure lightsabers and rare colors from these lightsabers, including the darksaber used by Sabine Wren and the weightless lightsaber used by the Sith mastermind Darth Bane. Today though, we will be discussing a lightsaber and lightsaber crystal far different than any of these more conventional blades, and a lightsaber crystal so rare it took a long grueling trial to even locate a single crystal. But more than this, a crystal that when placed in a hilt became a lightsaber that was so valued and dangerous because of its application in combat and through assassinations. In this video, by far we will be discussing one of the most powerful, most deadly, and rarest lightsabers in all of Star Wars. Today we will explore the origins of the Ghostfire lightsaber crystals, and even more deadly and important than this, the fact that when placed within a functioning lightsaber hilt, these lightsabers produced no sound. Sound. If a ghost fire crystal was integrated into a hilt properly, again, it would create no sound at all. This lightsaber type is in fact so rare that within universe there has never been a single lightsaber wielder that has possessed and integrated a ghost fire crystal within their own lightsaber. What this means is that although we know of the ghost fire crystal's existence, no person has ever successfully integrated one into their lightsaber that we know of. The ghost fire crystal is perhaps the most rare of all lightsaber crystals, as its power is unlike any other blade in the Star Wars mythos. The ghost fire crystal can only be found on planets in the outer rim and on the peak of the highest mountains within these planets. These crystals only produce themselves on a select few worlds, and more than this, these worlds have never been documented before. What this means is that it would take literally decades for one person to locate a ghost fire crystal. The crystal is completely clear and translucent, making them extremely difficult to spot. When placed within a lightsaber hilt, it creates a blade that cuts just like any other lightsaber. However, when activated, the blade has two properties that make it far superior to any lightsaber used by the Jedi or the Sith. When the lightsaber crystal is activated, the blade produced is nearly completely clear, meaning in combat it is almost impossible to keep track of. And even more dangerous than this, the blade is also silent when activated. What this means is that when the practitioner activates the weapon, they can remain completely concerned sealed. If used properly, the Ghostfire lightsaber becomes the single greatest assassination and stealth weapon of any force wielder, as they can use a lightsaber to its greatest effect without ever revealing their location. They can switch their lightsaber on and off, and no one would ever know. Even deadlier than this, keeping track of the blade in a lightsaber duel is nearly impossible as the opponent would have to keep their focus trained on the hilt of the weapon at all times in order to know where the blade itself was. If they faltered or took one misstep, they would be dead. The blade would be nearly impossible to defend against if used with the fighting style of Form 6 Nyman, and used in the same way the Sith Lord XR Kun fought. XR used a style of lightsaber combat where he would deactivate and then reactivate his weapon on the fly, even altering the intensity of the lightsaber blade during a duel. XR would force his opponent to adjust quickly and precisely after the blade deactivated in order to recompose themselves after the blade switched off, as they seldom had any idea where the next attack would come from. Having a lightsaber that was already translucent to begin with would make this even more dangerous. This method of lightsaber dueling was also used by the Sith Lord Darth Treya, and pairing this with a translucent lightsaber crystal that made no sound would be next to impossible to overcome in a lightsaber duel. But what are your thoughts on the Ghostfire lightsaber crystal and blade, and had you ever heard of a lightsaber like this before this video? Again without a doubt, this is one of, if not the rarest lightsaber crystal type in the entirety of the Star Wars universe. Again, it is known as the Ghostfire. As a big question for the video, which lightsaber blade do you think is the most unique in all of Star Wars? And as a bonus question, what person do you think the Ghostfire lightsaber crystal would best suit? Again, don't forget to enter the lightsaber giveaway, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and tell me in the comments below what your all-time favorite lightsaber is in order to do so. Thank you guys as always so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.